So, occupational health and safety assessment series uh, 18001 says it is a source, situation, or act with the potential for harm in terms of human injury or ill health. HSC have, uh, I think, probably the best definition in this, it's certainly my favourite, which is something with the potential to cause harm. So this includes substances or machines, methods of work or other aspects of work. So a hazard is something with potential to cause harm. Whereas the risk, however large or small, uh, is the chance so the risk uh, is a chance, however large or small, that that hazard could cause the harm. So the hazard is something that ha has the potential to cause harm, and the risk is the chance uh, that the hazard could cause that harm to um, to occur. <coughs> OHS, uh, sorry, HSAS 18001 uh, refers to it as a combination of the likelihood of an occurrence of a hazardous event or exposures and the severity of the injury or ill health that can be caused by the events or exposures. So to explain this a bit more simply, um, if you imagine a circular saw is not a hazard. Otherwise, uh, you would say that a table was a hazard because a circular saw is just an inanimate object. Even a circular saw that is rotating is not a uh, hazard. A circular saw, uh, sorry, contact with the moving parts of the circular saw is the has is a hazard. Electrocution by the circular saw is a hazard. Dropping the circular saw on your toe is a hazard. So that each one of these things has the potential to cause harm. So it's the actual interacting of the human with the harmful element. So if that's clear, just remember uh, the circular saw. Uh, it's not the existence of the circular saw as a, an entity, as an object, that is the hazard. It is contact with the moving parts of the circular saw that has the potential to cause harm. And then the risk from that circular saw, uh, so from the harm caused by that circular saw, uh, is how likely that person is to come into contact with the moving parts of the circular saw, how severe the harm outcomes will be when they've cut themselves on the circular saw, and how many people that's going to affect. So separate out the like uh, so the uh, the thing with the potential to cause harm from uh, the likelihood and the severity and uh, so likelihood and severity give you the level of risk from the hazard please replay this section if you want to get this straight in your head so risk assessment is nothing more than a careful examination of what in your work could cause harm to people so you can weigh up whether you have taken enough precautions or should do more to prevent that harm. So, <coughs> quite straightforward really. Um, a school uh, in England required all of its uh, children to wear safety glasses if they were to play conkers for the fear of conker shards uh, getting into people's eyes. If you're unfamiliar with conkers, it's a game in which uh, we put nuts on the ends of pieces of string and then strike them against each other uh, as children uh, in all, uh, until one or the other nut breaks and then the person with the nut left over is the winner. <coughs> Um, so once you've worked out what you're already doing, work out what else you can do to re reduce the level of risk to an acceptable level. And then here you can see they've put an action by whom, an action by when, and then a note to say when it's been done. So risk assessment is a scientific means for organizing and evaluating scientific information relevant to the question of whether and with what likelihood individuals exposed to the agents in the environment will suffer harm. So this is just a note I thought I would put in to um, uh, say our previous risk assessment, well, this is qualitative. It's entirely based upon opinion. Um, but you can, if you've got very... Um, uh, do a very sophisticated risk assessment for very high levels of risk where you want to remove opinion completely uh, and just base it on 
scientific information. And so Callow has come up with a <clears throat> definition of risk assessment uh, which sort of encompasses the idea of using data from scientific study uh, so things like toxicology or uh, noise exposure and harms uh, caused in workplaces in order to uh, help you understand when you have done enough to control the risk 